goes left side. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there. 78 yards. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. The first play from scrimmage. Some of these people haven't even taken their seat. That's what is commonly known as a fast start. That's what my horse racing friends would say. They caught a flyer out of the gate. And guess what? They're in the lead now. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. of a yard and it'll be second down that goes down as a loss against his rushing stats but really should he have to absorb that one he had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step so now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit it's second down out of the gun they'll look to throw finding a safety valve here that's complete and he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. So still in search of the first down after that last completion. Out of the gun now on third down. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now is fourth down. As you and I know from visiting a lot of camps, no one practices this type of a start, do they? Nah, especially not on the road. You give up the touchdown on the opening drive. Now there's likely a three and out on your first possession. Yeah, you throw that incompletion there. You hate to fall into a hole early, especially on the road. Got to be careful. This is taken at the 10. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. On first down, Newton. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. The completion good for three, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll power his way up near the 25. Down on the field, we've got an injured Colt after that last play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Here's Newton. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. The linebacker, Stefan Anthony, with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. They told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You going to let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Now a 
shotgun snap as they look to throw. Philip Dorsett hauls it in. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. A solid gain of seven yards that time on the keeper and a first down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. So if I'm an offensive coordinator, there's one thing that I know for sure. This is one of the top five teams in the NFL against the run. So when I look at my playlist, I'm probably thinking about throwing it. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. T.Y. Hilton, his second touchdown on the season. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying up this football game. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And the Colts pick it up. And a tough turnover there as now they will have it at the six-yard line first and goal. There's never a good place on the field to fumble the ball. Let's just call it as it is. But definitely not in your own red zone. <laughs> in your own red zone. <laughs> It's heightened, isn't it? Because you're almost automatically giving up a score and the momentum, and everything just changes for your team. Yeah, so the kickoff fumble, that great field position. They're going to look to throw. A gain of four on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Now receiver in motion left. Over, 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 over. And now it's second and goal. Step, and he takes it in for a cold score. It's their quarterback with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. And the Colts have taken the lead. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. Right now, He's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can continue this pace. And sending out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. Carolina getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go. And it's a fumble. But fortunately, a Panther was able to get on this. So Carolina keeps the ball. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something. The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 
seven yard line. They may have the edge on the scoreboard, but that hasn't made them passive, has it? I mean, they've, they dialed up a pretty good run blitz there. And, and, and Brandon, you know that all blitzes aren't just designed to get to the quarterback and the passer. Sometimes you're just trying to take away every gap, every hole that might be created in a running game, and they did it to perfection and caused a fumble there. Took away the gaps, took away the holes, took away the football. And a great spot to start this drive from here. They go play action here on first down. Over the middle, Dorsett. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Philip Dorsett, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Colts are able to grow their lead. And correct me if that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Brad, wasn't that long ago that the guy playing that spot was an outside linebacker type of a guy. Now, as a defensive end, how about the speed that he used to get into the backfield and make the play? Here's Newton now on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And on third down, the Colts have added an extra defensive back. Flooding the passing lanes. A shotgun snap for Newton. And this one is incomplete. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. That'll be out of bounds. And how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. A first look at the NFL scoreboard comes from down in Arizona. And the early lead there belonging to the Cardinals. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They've got to do a better job up front and create some space because they're right there, almost literally, on their own goal line. Just a couple of feet away from a safety. That could have been disastrous. Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. to throw now in his own end zone escaping the under pressure and down he goes in the end zone and that's a safety the punter Kayser now out to kick it away and it's taken in at the nine and some room to maneuver and now running right through it Carolina getting set to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? 
The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even Jeez. exist. He's not on the team anymore. I just cut him. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And a big tackle there as the defender runs right through him at the 38-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Fake here on first down. He's going to float this one deep. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll be taken down deep into Indianapolis territory. A big play there for Carolina. 51 yards. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. McCaffrey on the counter. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but now from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. to a one-score game. And Potter, they found a gap there on the post pattern in the middle of the end zone. And ordinarily, that's a tough spot to find because there's usually coverage to take away that portion of the field. But they found a gap, and they exploited it. And this is back to a five-point game. Elliott now to kick this one away. And he is out of bounds here on the return. And the Colts coming out now. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Shaq Thompson in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Back to throw here. Looking left side and it's complete. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. He got 29 yards that time. throw here on first down left side it's Dorsett and he'll get it out to midfield looks like yeah they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50 just a yard on the catch there it'll be second and nine
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? And the Panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down. Five defensive backs. Here we go now. Boom, nine and He'll look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And finally out of bounds inside the five at the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. He's going to keep it. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. So two minutes to go in a wild first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. Second and goal from the one. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Colts add on to their lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. That'll be taken in the end. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. So while the offense has had a big day, no one on that side of the ball is excited about seeing a loss like that. Their goal, to make every play positive. And when you have a bad one like that, your next goal is to not let spot. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And incomplete on the deep ball. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. And he gets it away, and it's a laser headed for the sidelines. So out of bounds on the punt, and the spot will be, the side judge says, right at, yeah, right at the 35-yard line here. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And they had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. On 
Play action. They'll throw. He's going to launch this thing way downfield and nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Caught on the right side by Dorsen. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. And the tight end goes in motion left. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Elsewhere, a score update from New Orleans, and the Bucks are out to an early lead. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. Second down following the run. He'll drop to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. They kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, and he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Third down, he'll drop to throw. It's complete on the bubble screen. That's Doyle. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. NFL teams last year, a little under 50% on fourth down conversions. This is a bit tougher. Fourth and four. Shotgun, he'll look to throw, and that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it, and the Panthers will get the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I both been to practice. I've seen. Hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Cam trying to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. To throw on second down is Newton. That's Samuel, caught left side. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. The Panthers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They're up against a third and one situation. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Now the offense lining up first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll get it to the 23-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. 
Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. And the kick by Elliott is good. And that lead is back down to nine now. So they're still down, but they are able to salvage three here heading into the lockers. This is what you work on from the beginning of training camp. Heading into the half, put some points on the board. No matter what the score says at that point, you've accomplished what you set out to do. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast to Orlando where we check in with our friend Larry Ridley and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry, both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Shaq Thompson in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. The Colts on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 14. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Partner, the way this offense is marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. This is taken around the 12. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because uh, tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker board? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> Now Newton on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he's got some space here. <laughs> and he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. A big play there for the Panthers. 47 yards on the ground. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On first down, Newton. 
And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And out of bounds all the way down at the two-yard line. A good pick up there of 22. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Well, big man with ball met bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. Toss. This is McCaffrey. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Panthers are able to get this back within a touchdown. And the lead is down to two. now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. And the Colts getting ready to go. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you'd think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Let's go. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. All right, here we go. Go, three, ah! They'll drop the throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still. Ended up with a solid game. So here we go, first and ten now. Looking to jam the receivers right, at the go. line here. Press coverage looked defensively. They'll go option to the short side. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Second down following the run. And they'll send a slot in motion left. And some space here. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now 
this time he'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And some room to work. Finding room inside the 40. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. Plain and simple. That's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm got was just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. On the NFL scoreboard, they are in the third now in New Orleans. And now that one really widening up. The Bucs have just scored again. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. They'll set up a throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. The Colts on third down, two for five to this point. This is third down and 12. Back out of that Philly, here we go, let's go. Three, let's over, go. Over, 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 over. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. Set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Well, that's a down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him. Sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did. Yet the pressure was still there. And he ended up coughing it up. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Only a yard on the game there as time will run out on this third quarter of play. Nine yards still remaining here to pick up the first on second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. Want to try that again? Go play action hit them over the top. The Panthers on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. They fake the give. Newton. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Possible run anticipation here is the D-line. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there. His third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Panthers have taken the lead here in the fourth. And the lead is up to five. Elliott now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. 
Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And the offense moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second and 12. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And, boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's him. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. Let's go! Green three. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Count me is a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive. And normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, it looked like the offensive line let them down a little bit. Yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff them for a loss. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. And able to find Green. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They're able to convert on, but that sets up a first and goal. Time starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. Now they bring a receiver in motion right. Looking to throw. Buying time to his left. And he will score. Touchdown, Indianapolis. It's their quarterback. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Colts have taken the lead here in the fourth. All right, here we go. They'll throw. And he is going to get in. But there is a flag down. And this is in the area of holding. Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. So what you're telling me is the conventional way has not really worked for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all. So he tries to grab him here, and they still get caught. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. Over, over, over. Leopard, Leopard. Alert three, alert three. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 
Now back to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, that decision to me was all about pulling up the chart. You know, that, that beautiful chart that tells you when to go for two, when you to love go that for chart. one. I do <laughs> love it. It helps you with your decision making during heated times. And just look at it right here in this part, point of the game. Go for two. Try to make it a field goal difference. But now just up one makes the rest of this fourth quarter a little more interesting. Yeah, they followed the chart. They just didn't get the two points on the board, did they? Nope. Carolina getting set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last one. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah. Situation dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. And the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. From the gun, here's Newton. Oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. He got 29 yards that time. That gets him the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. Dances by him. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. <laughs> Flash the stick skills on that run, but then stop shy of the 35. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Elsewhere in the NFL, they're in the fourth down in New Orleans. And now that one really widening up. The Bucs have just scored again. If they can hold on to that lead to the end, it would up their win total to seven. Back to throw. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So the offense has it first and ten. Back to throw. Benjamin with it over the middle. A good pick up there of 20 yards. 
I'm all surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Cam trying to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. They'll look to throw, and that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. McCaffrey. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win. And this one is right through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And Charles, he hasn't missed a kick all year. Why would he start now? Exactly. And this was by far the most nerve-wracking. They just stepped up and calmly banged it through. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game. And that's the spark that they were looking for it with that big return. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Being chased out left. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up.